Under the new administration of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., the Philippines' multi-billion infrastructure projects continue, aiming to enhance public mobility and spur economic activity across the country, which served as a strong foundation for a robust economy. The implementation of the Build Better More Infrastructure Agenda is both a continuation and improvement of former President Rodrigo Duterte's Build 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 program, which on six-year terms transformed the Philippines' public infrastructure into its golden years. As time is a precious commodity, one could only imagine the large-scale benefits the new infrastructure has for business productivity and the transport of essential cargo as well as travel and tourism. To date, numerous completed infrastructure projects, such as expanded highways, railways, airports, bridges, and road networks, have reduced the distance between regions, shortened road trips, and improved the overall travel experience for commuters, business travelers, and local tourists' access to previously far-flung places. In the future, it will enhance further as hundreds of infrastructure projects are in progress, or are planned to be constructed for the preparation of making the country an advanced economy by 2040. After the success of the Cebu Cordoba Link Expressway, an iconic 8.9 km toll bridge connecting Cebu City mainland to Cordoba in Mactan Island, the longest and tallest completed bridge in the Philippines. Now, the Philippines' public works and highways is ramping up for the construction of the longest sea-crossing bridge in Southeast Asia. Challenging the first and second Penang bridges spanning 13.5 km and 24 km of Malaysia. And edging, the Temburong Bridge of Brunei with a length of 30 km long. The Bata and Takavidi Interlink Bridge is a 32 km and 150 m four-lane cable stayed bridge, it will stretch 17 km between Cavite and Corregidor Island, and more than 4 km between Bata and Corregidor Island. The project will involve the construction of two cable-stayed navigation bridges, the North Channel Bridge, with a main span of 400 m and the South Channel Bridge with a 900-meter main span, standing at a water depth of approximately 50 meters. Land viaducts, marine viaducts, and ancillary buildings will also be constructed under the project. It will connect Bata and in the north, and Cavite in the south, the two adjacent provinces of Metro Manila. This cable-stayed bridge has sped up travel from 5 hours down to just 30 minutes between Bata and Nkavidi. The enormous savings in time has spelled convenience for those engaged in business and trade in the region, and has ensured sustained economic growth for both provinces. As another intervention to address Metro Manila's persistent problem with traffic congestion, the Bata and Takavidi Interlink Bridge will introduce new expansion and economic growth opportunities outside of the metropolis. With investors now setting up industries, leading to the route of promising new land and marine viaduct highway to be built between regions of central Luzon and Calabarzon. In early 2020, the National Economic and Development Authority NEDA, approved the project with a budget of 175.7 billion pesos. It will be financed through multilateral funding from the Asian Development Bank. The implementation of the bridge project is projected to last for six years. The detailed engineering design contract was awarded to the joint venture of Thai Lin International and the Republic of Korea's Pianwa Engineering Consultants, working with Switzerland-based Renardet and the Philippines' DCCD Engineering Corporation. The engineering design works for the project cost 3 billion and 10 million pesos. The Marine Geophysical Surveys and Geotechnical Investigations in Evaluating Underground Conditions and Site Characterization over the Waters of Manila Bay are ongoing with an overall accomplishment of 55% to date. The detailed engineering design works for the Bata and Takavidi Interlink Bridge will be completed by the first quarter of 2023.
The government's commitment to fast-track its implementation, and manifested that civil work will be started immediately and would be completed under the Marcos government, as it end in 2028. Another major bridge project that is already approved and set for construction is the Panay Guimaras to Negros Bridge project. The project involves the construction of 32.5-kilometer four-lane bridges, including connecting roads and interchanges that will connect the islands of Panay, Guimaras, and Negros in western Visayas. The projects have two components, these are the 13-kilometer Panay to Guimaras section, which will have a sea-crossing bridge length of 4.9 kilometers, and the Guimaras to Negros section with a total length of 19.4 kilometers including a sea-crossing bridge length of 13.1 kilometers. The detailed engineering design of the project was being drawn up, with two Korean groups, the Yoshin Company and Sambo Engineering and Construction Company qualified to submit bid proposals. The detailed engineering design will be funded under a loan worth 3.3 billion pesos to be extended by the Korea Export-Import Bank. The loan will be payable in 40 years without interest, with a 0.1% service charge per disbursement inclusive of a 10-year grace period. The estimated contract cost of the project is 187.5 billion pesos. The project is expected to commence engineering services this year, and begin construction in 2025. In Mindanao, the southern island of the Philippines, two major bridge projects are in progress and planned to construct. The Davao to Samal Bridge is a 3-kilometer proposed connector bridge linking the island garden city of Samal and Davao City. The decade proposed project is currently on a backlash due to its environmental concerns. However, the Department of Public Works and Highways remains firm in its alignment with the project as it underwent a comprehensive study. The project has already secured the pertaining required permit from all concerned agencies and local government units. The Infrastructure Development Council of Davao Region has approved as early as 2019 the bridge's alignment and landing points, citing its economic and logistical benefits. The National Economic Development Authority NEDA, gave the green light for the 23.04 billion pesos project. It's a toll-free four-lane, cable-stayed bridge extrados with a total length of 3.9 kilometers, including the Davao ramps. It can serve around 25,000 vehicles a day between Davao City and the island garden city of Samal crossing over Pakiputan Strait. Meanwhile, the biggest under-constructed bridge project in Mindanao is the Pangul Bay Bridge. The bridge will connect Tangab City in Misamis Occidental, and Tubod in Lanao del Norte via a 3-kilometer and 770-meter two-lane bridge. The overall progress rate of the project now stands at 60%. Upon completion of the project by December 2023, it is expected to cut travel time between Tangab City and Tubod from two and a half hours to just seven minutes. Of the 7 billion and 37 million pesos total project costs, 2 billion and 160 million were financed by the national government, while 5.2 billion is a loan agreement between the Philippine government and Korean Export-Import Bank or Korea Exim Bank. 